Week two of college football just around the corner. Let's take a look at the matchups. Man, so what a great week one. I don't think we could have asked for much more with that one. A lot of great matchups, a lot of great games. And week two, we got a full slate as well. Um, I think we're going to learn a lot more about these teams going into week two than we did in week one. Being able to compare some matchups, having some top tier teams going up against each other to really prove themselves. It'll be really exciting to watch. So I wanted to just kind of go over some of my favorite matchups of the week. First one, ASU at Oklahoma State. I thought this would be fun to take a look at Spencer Sanders. He had a great week one, threw, threw for over 400 yards and four touchdowns. He's looking like he's making a case for the Heisman, taking another step from what he's been at throughout his whole career at Oklahoma State. Obviously, he's taken them to some, to some big time games, championship games. So let's see, maybe can Oklahoma State get past? Um, what they've achieved so far. It's really going to depend on their defense. It looks like their offense is back to what it was um, before clicking on all cylinders. Um, it's the defense that has a lot of question marks this year. So um, I'm going to be looking at them to uh, keep up with the production on defense, proving that they can get it done on both sides of the ball. And uh, we'll see how far this team can go. Next up, another Big 12 um, matchup with a future Big 12 member, B Baylor at BYU. Uh, top 25 matchup, um, future Big 12 rivals. I think uh, this could be a natural rival for um, BYU and Baylor in the future. Both kind of religious schools, um, both played each other last year. Baylor got the best of them. Um, just kind of more physical, bigger team, faster, and just kind of dominated the game in general. Um, but this year, um, Baylor does lose a lot of uh, production at the skill positions. Um, their defensive line and offensive line still look dominant. So they're gonna, it's going to be tough for BYU to run the ball as it was last year. Um, so if they can establish that, um, being ha at home, that's going to be a big factor. Especially with the news from Peter Thamel coming out that both Puka Nakua and um, Gunnar Romney are going to be missing this game. Um, it's reported that way. I haven't heard any news from local media um, saying that. Coaches haven't come out to say anything. So um, as of right now, they're going to be out. It's going to be a fun battle between between Shapen and Hall. Um, ultimately, I really see Baylor pulling this one out. They, they still look like the better team. Um, but this will definitely be a fun one to watch. Uh, and then Alabama, Texas. I think this is going to be the game day game of the week. Um, can Texas make it a game? <laughs> that that's basically what I'm what I'm uh, looking looking at for this game. It'll be fun to see Quinn Ewers see what he can do against uh, one of the most dominant teams in the country, if not the most dominant team in the country. Is he going to live up to the hype this year? Um, can Texas uh, get it done with the amount of talent that they have on the field, or is this just going to be another disappointing um, seven and six team? six and six team um so that'll be interesting to, to watch um and then south carolina at arkansas you know um arkansas got the job done against cincinnati last week um didn't play the most perfect game i think by their standards but um kj jefferson did look impressive is the the next uh cam newton um uh, he certainly looked that way big bodied um can run can throw um, he looked really good. And then Spencer Rattler, he's going to be fun to watch all year at South Carolina. What he, what can he do after going through the transfer portal and if he can step up to the big stage um, for this early SEC matchup. USC at Stanford. Um, Stanford looked improved last week. Um, not much expectations for them going into this year. Their quarterback, Tanner McKee, threw for 308 yards. It was against Charlotte, or sorry, not Charlotte, Colgate. Um, but uh, USC looks to be... Um, the the Pac-12's last shot at a at a um, playoff berth, um, barring any kind of big losses, multiple losses from these uh, conference champions from other conferences. Um, so is USC legit with their new additions, new coach, new quarterback, wide receiver? Um, that'll be a fun one, interesting one to watch. Um, and then Kentucky at Florida, another big time SEC matchup here early in the year. Is Florida for real after that win over Utah or um, are they both just kind of middle of the pack? Is, uh, is Florida going to uh, challenge for uh, a championship or uh, are they just going to be the same old, same old that they've been the past few years? Um, but that'll be a fun one to watch. Kentucky on the come up, have a great quarterback. Uh, Tennessee at Pitt. Um, Pitt
Pitt's coming off a big win in the back, backyard brawl against West Virginia. Great game last year, last week. Uh, Tennessee is favored on the road against a, a higher ranked Pitt, so um, interesting to see that. And then, uh, yeah, these teams look pretty evenly matched. Um, I do give the slight edge to Pitt, in my opinion, with uh, the, the quarterback position. I like Slovis, um, what he can do, and then being at home, um, I see Pitt pulling off uh, the upset, I guess. Um, and then some non, non top 25 matchups, um, Iowa state at Iowa. This one was interesting to me just because Iowa state was favored going on the road against Iowa, which I don't know how many times that's happened before. Um, last week, Iowa's interesting game to say the least scoring seven points with two safeties. Um, their offense is going to have to step it up. Um, if they want to, if they want to compete in the big 10 this year and then, uh, just an old rivalry. Um, I think it'll be fun to watch. Um, I think I'd take Iowa in this one, them being at home, um, although Iowa State um, should should give them a good challenge. And then this one should be really interesting, Mississippi State at Arizona. Going into the season, I did predict that Arizona was going to have an improved year. Um, they really like Jed Fish, their new uh, coach um, for the past year or two, I can't remember, um, but they like the culture that he's instilling um, there uh, with the Wildcats, and I think they uh, have a lot of faith in him building up that program. They looked really good last week against San Diego State, got the job done with their new quarterback, um, Delora, he looked really good for them. Heaven, Mississippi State is going to be um, favored um, coming into this game. Um, last year, last week, their quarterback, Will Rogers, threw for over four, threw for 450 yards. Um, and then um, Arizona's wide receiver, Jacob Cowing, um, he did look really good. Eight receptions, 152 yards receiving. That'll be a fun one to watch, SEC versus Pac-12. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what your favorite matchup is going to be this week and who you got. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fun. Can't wait to watch all these matchups and uh, see how it all plays out. So see you guys in the next video.